weight of the particle right this will be the force on the particle in other words it is force on the particle right it is force on the particle who is exerting this force we have discussed it earlier it is the gravitational force on the particle isn't it so when a particle is experiencing this much force on it because of the gravitational pull if it is thrown with speed u at an angle theta then we have seen the particle instead of traveling along this line it follows the path of car when i finally it comes back to the ground level only the level from where it was thrown it finally comes back to that level only that means it comes back to ground only question arises question arises why it happens as i explained you in our last class that initial velocity vector that means the in, in the initial direction the projected velocity that is u meter per second that can be its meter per second will be the unit of the velocity if we resolve it in two components if we resolve it in two components then respective components will be known as u cos theta and u sin theta respectively now many of you many of you may ask that on which basis i am writing this horizontal one as the cos theta value of u and how i am writing the vertical as sin theta of u do you have uh, similar uh, such kind of doubts what i am ex uh, expecting that are you confused any question arises in your mind that why this is u cos theta why that is u sin theta yes or no if you do have the same question in your mind then uh, share it with me do you understand why i am writing the horizontal one as u cos theta and vertical one as u sin theta no issue i'll explain you i'll explain you uh, do you know this formula in a right angled triangle in a right angled triangle do you know this sin theta is p to h cos theta that is b to h and tan theta is p to b sin theta is p to h cos theta is b to h and tan theta is p to b do you know about this these three relations these three mathematical relations do you know about this from right angled triangle that means if we take a triangle like this where theta is this angle okay theta is the angle as per the geometry then the side opposite to theta will be perpendicular this side will be base and this side will be hypotenuse for theta you can understand which side is known to be perpendicular and which side is known to be base which one is hypotenuse for example if i mark it like a b c if i mark the vertices of a triangle as a b c so in this right angled triangle in this right angled triangle you must be getting the idea of which side should be identified as perpendicular which side should be identified as base and which one as the hypotenuse in a right angled triangle do you have this basic idea do you know these things that in a right angled triangle in a right angled triangle the side opposite to a particular acute angle the side just opposite to a particular acute angle will be known as perpendicular side with respect to that angle and the other side which is forming 90 degree with it will be known as base so with respect to theta the side bc is just opposite to theta so that's why 
BC is identified as perpendicular. So, 90 degree at B is formed by AB and BC. So, AB is the other side forming 90 degree at B. So, AB will be the base and side opposite to 90 degree will be hypotenuse. Is this much clear? So, see that whenever we resolve a vector, whenever we resolve a vector to whom we resolve, listen to me very carefully, you need to give your 100%. Whenever we resolve a vector, we consider that vector is along the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. What we do? When we try to resolve a vector, when we try to resolve a vector, we need to consider that particular vector as if it is the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. Right? Then the resolved components must be appearing along the two perpendicular sides composing that right angled triangle with the hypotenuse. Are you getting me? The vector to be resolved must always be taken along the hypotenuse of the right angled triangle and the resolved component that means that cos theta component and sin theta components, right, they must be appearing along the other two sides which are perpendicular to each other composing the concept of right angled triangle. Could you follow the lines what I said? The vectors to be, the vector to be resolved in any situation will be considered along the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. 